Now coming to the most important section, which comprises of forty percent of the phase one mark, that is the current affairs, the general awareness section. So, uh, can you tell our aspirants that how basically they can uh, focus and how they can uh, cover the current affairs part, and uh, about the number of sources, uh, whether you basically refer to more sources or one or two sources, and then cover them multiple times. So, what exactly was your strategy for the current affairs? This factual kind of informations I always uh, this factual kind of informations I always uh, uh, try to avoid. But this examination requires to mugging up a lot of facts. Yes. So what I did, I stick to one source. I did it thoroughly, and then I seconded it with a supplementary source just to make sure that nothing is uh, left behind. So I chose these two sources for current affairs, and I revised them again and again. I I was able to do current affairs of four months before the examination. Uh, Feb, March, April, and May, and in the Feb there was budget and economic survey. So I did budget and economic survey from two sources. One I picked up from UPSC because they go more into analysis part, and one I picked up more from the RBI Grade B point of view, more factual information like road infrastructure, how much budget is allocated, and things like that. So I did these two things. After that, I went on to prepare uh, through RBI circulars. RBI website I did not visit particularly because I did not have much time. I used the website during interview preparation, not in phase one or phase two preparation. For phase one and phase two, I relied on the coaching materials and online stuff for RBI circulars, RBI in news, uh, YouTube pe videos bhi the. Aapke RBI in news wale wo videos bhi maine dekha tha. So Ye, were they really helpful uh, for the exam? Yes, yes. Usse ye bhi ensure ho jata tha ki jo maine padha hai PDFs mein aur online padha hai, kuch usme chhota to nahi hai. Aur agar same facts dobar aa rahe hain, to yaad ho jaye karte the sunne ke baad. Because when we engage more of our senses into learning, then the learning becomes fast. So aankhon se dekha, kaanon se suna aur padh bhi liya, usko to wo mind mein set ho jata tha sara karke na. So that's all.